Okay, so in 8.2, we're going to look at the reciprocity of forces. What does this mean? It means that interactions, there's a reciprocal nature of interaction. This, this interactions, this means forces always come in pairs. Okay, so we'll look at, we'll look at the example here, but let's just look here. Whenever two objects interact, they exert on each other forces that are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. Okay? They are called interaction pair. They're called an interaction pair. Okay. Now let us look at pictures. I love pictures. They help us a lot. So here we've got uh, two carts interacting via a spring. It's called a soft collision. And here we have two carts interacting without a spring. It's called a hard collision. All right? Okay. So... The first thing to note here is that when you have the spring over here, the interaction time is, long, is, quite, is longer than when you don't have the spring. Look at the interaction time. Very, very short. And um, in the text, it gives this as one millisecond. One millisecond interaction time. But with a spring, the interaction time is 10 milliseconds. So the interaction time here is 10 times as long. Remember, it's just an example. In this specific example, with a spring, this interaction time is longer. Okay, so that's the first thing we want to see. So now if we look at the changes in momentum of the soft interaction, and the hard interaction, we'll note that, remember, these are this, exactly the same carts, hey? Cart 1 and cart 2, cart 1 and cart 2. They have exactly the same inertias, everything. Okay? So now, for both interactions, the, the change in momentum for each cart is the same. Look at the change in momentum for cart 1. It goes from 0 to it's 0 0.096. And um, car 2, because it's an isolated system and momentum is conserved, the amount that car 1 increases is the amount that car 2 decreases. So car 2 is minus 0 0.096 and car 1 is plus 0 0.096 change in momentum. And for the hard interaction, it's exactly the same. Cart 1 increases from 0 to 0 0.096, and Cart 2 decreases by 0 0.096. So the change in momenta for both interactions is the same. But what is different? What is different? The difference is the interaction time. Okay? And we know that force is the time rate of change of momentum. So because Cart 1 changes its momentum over 10 milliseconds and cart and in this case and here cart 1 changes its momentum over 1 millisecond we can see that although the momentum changes are identical cart 1 in this case will experience a lower force than in this case because the interaction time is much less than there but now the other thing is, actually this section is on interaction pairs. You can see that um, the change in momentum of cart 1 is, is equal in, uh, in magnitude but opposite in direction to the change in magnitude of cart 2. In the same way here, the, the increase in momentum of cart 1 is equal and opposite cart 2. So in, this, so in the same way as the momenta are equal and opposite, the forces of these two interacting pairs, uh, interacting carts, are also equal and opposite. Okay? So this is what we want to say again. Whenever two objects interact, they exert on each other forces that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. 